billionaire president came to the countryside for a blind date. The elderly grandmother said he could only choose between the two sisters. He immediately fell in love with Alessia, who was tall and youthful. Chiara drove up shortly after. He took one look at her and was quickly captivated by her. But the next moment, his expression changed dramatically. Chiara took a wheelchair out of the car. At that moment, the womanizer would never have imagined that he would be completely conquered by this handicapped woman. Johnny was a serial seducer. He was so obsessed with experiencing women's charms in an intimate way that he was late for his mother's funeral. But it was his mother's death that gave Johnny a different experience. After the funeral, he went back to his mother's house. He looked at all the old things she had left behind and had mixed feelings. Then a sexy woman walked in. Johnny was still in his mother's wheelchair. Alicia assumed that Johnny was disabled. She said she was a carer and that she was ready to help Johnny if he needed it. Johnny was about to tell her that he wasn't disabled, but the next thing he knew, he got a glimpse of the woman's breasts. In order to get her to let down her guard, Johnny decides to play the role of a disabled person to the end, and maybe he'll be able to catch a beautiful woman that way. Besides being a playboy, Johnny is also a very good entrepreneur. He owns a famous sports brand with 148 shops. He is a serial seducer in his private life, but is very demanding of his employees in his company. When Johnny comes to the office, everyone is on edge. Even a small mistake can get them fired by Johnny instantly. To be closer to the beauty, Johnny stayed at his mother's house. One day, he rang Alessia's doorbell from his wheelchair. Johnny said he wanted to buy her a cup of coffee. Alessia couldn't refuse a request from a disabled man. But during the conversation, Johnny realized that Alessia wasn't interested in him. So he decided to let money do the talking. When Johnny told her that it was worth over a hundred million dollars, Alessia frowned see for a moment and changed her mind. She said that if Johnny was free for the weekend, he could come to her house in the countryside. Johnny was very happy to hear that. It was possible that the woman was interested in him for his money. That was the last thing he needed. It was worth the price of admission to get a girl. So over the weekend, Johnny sped up to Alessia's neighborhood in his limo with his wheelchair. So that Alessia wouldn't notice. He got into the wheelchair at the entrance to the village. He didn't forget to bring a bouquet of flowers in his wheelchair. Johnny thought he was meeting Alessia's parents today. It wasn't until the disabled woman got out of the car that Johnny realized he'd been set up on a blind date. This woman was Alessia's sister, Chiara. Although she was in a wheelchair, she was still very elegant. After lunch, the others had left the two of them alone. Johnny thought that Chiara, beautiful as she was, would live a life of grumbling like other disabled people, but Chiara didn't complain about life. She was full of hope. Chiara is a violinist by profession and enjoys playing tennis in her spare time. Johnny was sure he wasn't interested in a handicapped person, but he had to admit that Kiara's optimism had infected him. For a moment, he didn't know how to end his life. His friend said he could end Kiara's interest in him by never showing his face again. What no one expected was that this physically challenged woman would be so passionate and courageous when it came to love. She searched the website to find out where Johnny's company was located, and then she surprised him out of the blue. Johnny was unprepared. How could his lies continue? A billionaire sits at his company desk and pretends to be disabled. He didn't do it to avoid debts, but for a woman in a wheelchair. Johnny's mind went blank when he learned that Kira had come to see him. He met Kira in a very ungraceful manner at his desk at work. Kira said she had a tennis match tonight. It's a handicapped accessible match, but it's very exciting. If Johnny had time, he could come and watch. Johnny couldn't say no to the confident and beautiful Kira. Of course, he couldn't tell the truth that he was normal. As soon as Kira left, Johnny urgently called his secretary to get him a wheelchair, even if he had to steal it or rob it. In the evening, Johnny arrived at the tennis match. He had no hope for the match, but when he saw Kira on the court, he realized what sport was all about. Kira was sweating freely in her wheelchair. Her vitality is so strong, Johnny's wheelchair was completely destroyed after the game. He had to swear at the secretary while sitting in another wheelchair. Coincidentally, the owner of this wheelchair is Kira. After the race, Kira even took him to meet her friends. Looking at these disabled people's attitude towards life, Johnny felt that he himself was pathetic. He is an able-bodied man who cheats his way to a girl. Afterwards, he asked his secretary to return the wheelchair in her place. In fact, the secretary was very attentive and considerate. She soon realized that Johnny was interested in Kira, but she thought that the selfish and philandering Johnny was no match for the beautiful Kira. So she kept trying to talk Johnny out of flirting with Kira. But Johnny insisted on going to Kira's concert. He rented a motorized wheelchair for 300 euros to attend the concert. If the last tennis match had shown Johnny Kira's energy. This time, Kira was a revelation. In her elegant dress, her fingers are flowing with the love of life. She was like a rose in Johnny's heart. When Johnny invited her to dinner, he wanted to tell her the truth. But in the end, 
He chickened out. After dinner, the two traveled happily in their wheelchairs. Johnny drops her off at the hotel and is encouraged by the staff to take the plunge. But when they were about to make out, Kiara refused to let him continue, citing work as the reason. Johnny didn't give up. He wanted Kiara as if he were a child who wanted a cool toy. It wasn't about love, but at least he could show it off. So that night, he invited Kiara to his mansion. During the meal, Kiara spoke of the scene when she had her car accident. It was heartbreaking for Johnny. A girl who used to be able to run and exercise had somehow lost her legs and was still living so enthusiastically. He switched on the swimming system in the restaurant and the cutlery candles were quickly submerged. And Kiara was able to swim to Johnny's side with the buoyancy of the water. Such a romantic and chic way of flirting with a girl makes Kiara enter Johnny's trap completely. As they get closer and closer, the ambiguity is getting stronger and stronger. The two of them completed a perfect union in the water. Although Carol was handicapped, she could still appreciate the pleasure. What we never expected was that Johnny would make a crazy move. This man pretends to be disabled, to get a beautiful woman, to sleep with him, and take her nude photos. He does it all to show off, but only to satisfy his own vanity. After the two of them made out, Johnny secretly took pictures of them, to show off to his friends that he could easily get any woman he wanted. Even if she was disabled, he hadn't contacted Kiara for a few days after the sex, and had even slept with other women again. But when she talks about disability, he still can't help but think of Kiara. The woman who brought him joy and optimism was truly a special being. Even at work, Johnny couldn't resist modeling his new effort on Kiara. He thought about it and decided to tell the truth. So he went to Kiara's house for the first time. As he watched Kiara play the violin, Johnny tiptoed to his feet. But when she turned around, he sat her day back in his wheelchair in panic. Then her words made him even more afraid to admit the lie. Because Kara broke up with her ex-boyfriend because of a lie. She hated it when people lied to her. But Johnny had no idea that Kara's sister had hooked up with his friend. His friend told Alicia the truth about Johnny's fake disability to impress her. When Alicia learned the truth, she slapped him. Johnny knew it was time to end the lie. In order to find a way out of the misunderstanding, Johnny asked his father for advice. His father said that not far away, in Lourdes, there was a miraculous church where, according to legend, prayers could lead to miracles. But Johnny didn't know that Kiara had recognized his lie. Kiara knew he was normal from the first moment she met him, but she had a great time with Johnny. She was willing to go along with Johnny's performance for the sake of this brief moment of happiness. At last, they were on the train to Lourdes. When they arrived at the church, the godfather saw that Johnny in his wheelchair was a fake handicapped person. So he called Johnny into the church alone and told him that the people who were traveling to Lourdes were doing it for a cause. He didn't know why Johnny pretended to be disabled, but whatever one chooses, one must follow one's conscience. Johnny wondered how the godfather could tell he was normal, and the godfather said, what kind of disabled person's shoes would have abrasion marks? Yes, how could Kara not see through such a symbol I? Johnny traveled back thinking about how to end the show. His friends cheered him on. In the end, he didn't have the courage to tell the truth. When they were in a service area, a big truck came up to Kara, who was alone in her wheelchair. Johnny quickly yanked Kiara's wheelchair straight out of the way, and the truth that he could walk was completely exposed. Kiara pretends to shout that it's a miracle, and then forlornly turns around and gets in the bus to leave. That lie was broken, and their relationship was never the same. Johnny never saw Kiara again, but his life changed because of Kiara. He stopped being selfish and started thinking about his employees. Johnny finally realized that he had fallen in love with Kiara. When he learned of Kiara's location from her mother, he didn't hesitate to stop the bus she was traveling on. He apologized in front of everyone, but Kiara didn't want to forgive him. Even though she's disabled, she has her own dignity. When he saw how determined Kiara was, he had no choice but to leave. But that doesn't mean he'll forget Kiara. To give vent to his longing, Johnny ran day and night. Until one morning, he fell alone on the road. Just as he was about to give up, he suddenly saw a pair of familiar feet. The woman in front of him was Kiara, whom he hadn't seen for a long time. After much deliberation, these two seemingly incompatible people are together again. At the end of the film, Kiara and Johnny have a simple and happy wedding. Their lives are very different. They share the same love and bravery, and with their love and warmth for each other, they're off to a better life together. Let's explore the wonderful movies together. You can subscribe to Maroon Recap and leave comments.